So when I'm doing a section like this, I like to go one board back from the edge of world, I call it, and then do this board and go this way. Because again, Aaron can be setting boards this way and I can be doing special cuts and stuff and setting boards going that way. Um, and since I know that this is gonna be an inch and a quarter overhang, um, I can come over here and I can figure out all that. Because again, it's hard to cut right here next to the post. So I'll at least figure out this first board right here. Right, so I'll burn my inch and a quarter. I'll go back five and a half. And then I can pull all my measurements. Uh, same thing over here to find the edge of world over there. And then I'll cut this first board. And then the rest I'll just cut approximately four feet and I'll just run them wild. The two ends and just lock it in, lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Until I get to the last board. And if it's close, then we'll do another layer of framing out there for a fur out. Uh, so we can get a whole board out there. Um, and if it's not close, then we won't worry about it and we'll just put one rip. It is what it is. Um, it looks a lot cleaner with the picture frame coming all the way through and then your infill still lining up with that. It looks way cleaner even if you have to have a rip out here. Um, so there's a little tip for you. Um, this is where we're at. This is a second story deck. Um, and uh, here's another view. So a lot of these houses are just having some pretty decent views of the canals out here. Um, I guess it's good for me because it tells me when the fish are jumping. Anyways, thanks for watching.